are live with another WWE 2K20 My Career Mode, Red, aka Raven, is ready to defend her NXT Women's Championship. That's just one of the past takeover against former champion Candice LeRae. Now, this isn't any match. This is a match that features none other than the stipulation of the Iron Man, my bad, Iron Woman match. It's a 15 minute time limit to incorporate anything these two the alpha females can do in this ring. Like this have a way Who will come out victorious? Will Rat continue or Brad Blazing Road and stay the NXT champion? Or will Kenneth LeRae and Rat's fluke in becoming the NXT women's champion one more time? Rat looks prepared. She looks fierce. She looks ready. And she looks to stay champion for a very long time here in NXT. But don't take anything away from Candice, the former champion. Candice LeRae has been wrestling all over the world. She's been wrestling men, women, anybody, bears. It does not matter. Candice LeRae can simply get it done in this ring. But this is what it's all about. The NXT Women's Championship. The chance to prove that you are the greatest woman in the NXT brand. So don't let it get a twist that these ladies are going to fight it out in this ring. They're going to hold nothing back. Dennis is ready, fierce, ready, looking over her shoulder with no championship, while Red proudly displays her NXT Women's Championship, looks to retain it, looks to stay champion for a very, very, very long time. Championship match on the line, Iron Man rules have been applied, and let's get straight to the action. Here we go. Oh, it's a good by Red. We're starting off on a fasting blaze by Red. Red, oh, a cutter. Red going full throttle right here in the NXT arena. Full sale of sold out crowd. And we are all excited for this exciting NXT Women's Championship match. Wait a minute, kick the midsection. Go for a Yurnagi there. No. A Yurnagi, my bad. I meant a flip reverse DDT. Turn into a beautiful crossroads. Knee drop to the middle of the chest. Stops. Red has said she's seen Red since takeover and an eye injury, overcoming it and coming back to NXT only to win the NXT Championship. Women's Championship, that is. But that is alright. We are ready. We are supporting Red in her quest on becoming the champion. She is fierce. She is stepping up. She does not care. She knows that she is. The greatest NXT Women's Champion. That's the attitude you should have. Oh, beautiful. Enziguri there by Red. That's the attitude you should have when you come to NXT. If you're not here to be the best, if you're not here to be the NXT Women's Champion, then why are you here? That's exactly what Red has. That's her mentality. She's been working her ass off to win everything that comes her way. Every opportunity that the WWE presents to her. The May Young, Young Classic. Victorious last year. Taking out Rhea Ripley. Getting injured by Rhea Ripley, but only to find herself pinning Rhea Ripley and becoming the NXT Women's Champion. There is nothing stopping Red. Our friend Trey has a very different story. This man has hit himself with completely everything else but success. He was victorious in this past match of defeating the Velveteen Dream and finally earning the respect of the Velveteen Dream. But it was a very rocky road for Trey, aka Status. Will he become champion here like Red? We'll just have to see how his road plays out here in the NXT arena. But this is Red's time. This intense matchup for the NXT Women's Championship is on the line. And a beautiful twisted Red neck breaker to cover one, two, three, and that's one fall. Red standing on top as the NXT Women's Champion. Wait a minute, and another beautiful DDT. Stomps. Red has been laser focused on retaining her champions and that's exactly how it should be. If you're not here laser focused and you should get out of NXT. This is the, the brand where everyone showcased their skills of over 10 minute matchups showing off that you are the very best in the ring. Dare I say it in the WWE. In the world. The NXT talent is just ready to step it up. A reversal there by Candice LeRae. The champion looks like him back up and Red saw it coming in the knee to the face. Candice LeRae has absolutely had no offense in this matchup. And another insecure to the face of Candice LeRae. Candice LeRae seems to be on cold. 
cannot get a break in this matchup. Has done nothing. Absolutely no offense on Red. Maybe one strike or two, but Red has been 100% on the offense of this matchup. Proving it why she should be the NXT Women's Champion forever. Will Red be the NXT Women's Champion forever? We just have to see. We just have to find out if it's actually going to happen. If it's actually going to be something that the Red can do for the rest of her career. To the world hat scissors there by Candice LeRae. I'm taking take away from Gray, the veteran, just not having a good time today. But that's all good. She seems to have. No, wait a minute. She's psyching. Maybe trying to psych Red out. Or maybe the energy fatigue is kicking in that Candice LeRae just cannot do a move. Red is just too strong. But good old Candice. But that's okay. Red with a beautiful, fast lightning strikes of an Inziguri. Taunting the former champion. The current AC Women's Champion has came in here with absolute confidence in another Inziguri. And is just hitting Candice LeRae with strikes from all over. That's the cover. One. Two. And Candice LeRae kicks out. That is something up now. Working the arm here. Arm wrenching. Taking that arm out of the former champion is a good way. It's a good plan. It's a good setup to make sure that you stay champion forever. And what do we got? What do we got here? Another Inziguri by Red. It's the queen of Inziguris. That should be one of Red's nicknames. Wait a minute. It's that beautiful Red neckbreaker. Cover. One. Two. Three. And it's 2-0. Oh. Red with the advantage. I don't see Candice LeRae coming back up at all. Now she does. She has to really overcome the odds. But that is no surprise for Candice LeRae. She's someone who can definitely overcome the odds. She's someone who can definitely step in the ring in there and overcome anything that comes her way. That's how she became champion in the first place. But maybe this challenger is too strong. I mean, maybe this challenge is too strong because Red is the champion. She is defending her NXT Women's Championship for the first time ever in her career. She's doing a phenomenal job because she has been on the offense 110%. By God Almighty, will this be it? Will this be the end? Looks like Candice LeRae finally get a bit of offense and beautiful suplex by the former champion. Candice LeRae right here tonight. Stepping up to the challenge. Looking to become the NXT Women's Champion one more time. And the Irish whip. He ducks. Oh, tilt the roll DDT. Beautiful. By Candice LeRae, Miss Gargano is on the road tonight. The fun fact, some of you might not know, it was Candice LeRae that was picked two, three years ago. Xbox was recruiting both the, the talent on the indies, and he decided to choose Candice LeRae over Red. So Red has a lot to prove here tonight. Red has to beat Candice LeRae to make sure internally she feels like she is above Candice LeRae. Make Xbox eat his word for a decision he made two years ago. Making sure that he decided to pick Candice LeRae over Red. That's it. That's all. Oh, chop. Candice LeRae is hanging on there to the ropes. What's this? Red's are back up. Oh, close line by Red. Fired up here tonight in NXT. And Full Sail is loving this attitude of Red. Maybe finally embracing her roots. Maybe not shy anymore. I guess that comes when you become champion. Try not to get too overconfident. That could backfire. But at the moment, Candice LeRae doesn't even seem to know where she is. She's just outside. Hopefully, she get back in the ring. Count on or not, it counts in here. It'll be an extra point. Oh, these ladies. Unmatched. Oh, and the Yuri again. But like I was saying, an extra point can just go really ahead. Especially when you're not winning any points right now, as Candice LeRae is. She just cannot seem to get a break at all. Wait a minute. Oh, stunner. By Candice LeRae in an elbow drop. Going on here is Candice LeRae. What a beautiful lion salt. One, out of two. A big shout out to a little bit of the bubbly Chris Jericho. Oh, no, no, no. Taking shades of Johnny Gargano and locking in. That's the mission. But Red, Red again is Red was expecting that. Oh. Knee to the back of the head and a punch. Face. That is not looking good for Candice LeRae right now with an Irish whip. The turnbuckle. I guess she's right as part of Candice LeRae on top of the turnbuckle. Planning something extraordinary here. Wait a minute. 
There we go. A tower? What could this be? Tower of London! The top rope cutter! Taking down the former champion who's had absolutely no luck in this matchup. Our ship to a different rank. The referee is knocked out. That means anything can go. These ladies would like to take a, the, the, a title or a chair or a weapon just to get an advantage. I think it would be pretty good for Candice LeRae, even though it's not part of a personality to do something like that. I think it would definitely be very good of Candice LeRae to try it. Wait a minute, another strike. Tries the midsection. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, another strike. Oh! And kick. Kick. Incredible. Lettuceism by these two ladies. What the NXT Women's Division is all about. It's all about that championship. It's all about doing the best you can to keep that championship. Or to, as Candice LeRae is doing, to win it one more time. Because sometimes there's fluke wins. Wait, Candice LeRae out of nowhere with a bulldog. There's fluke wins. Candice LeRae taunting the champion. Candice LeRae means business. Maybe that fire, that kickstart has finally kicked up. Maybe a bit late, but never the sense. We have five minutes left. That could absolutely mean anything in this matchup. Those line by the former champion. And win a match outside, but a countout does count. A countout victory does count. Strikes. Oh, jawbreaker! Count out victory counts. I don't think Candace seems to be the one to take count out victories. She's in control. Wait a minute, she said something up here. Oh, hold on! That are Gory Special! Gory Bob Special out here inside the ring! Yep, as I predicted, Candace LeRae taking red back in the ring. Five minutes left on the clock. Candice LeRae finally get a bit of offense in there. Wait a minute, what we got here? A neck breaker by Candice LeRae. The neck breaker can really, really affect the outcome of a match. If you were to bend the spine the wrong way through that neck breaker, that could be it. That's all Candice LeRae might just need to score three, of three victories here over Red. That's a very, very intense maneuver. And another Enziguri by Red. Red is very fast. She's very lethal with the strike. She's very to the point. What I mean, she means business in her. She's not like her best friend Trey, who's a complete goofball and distracted. She is laser focused, and that's why she's becoming champion here in NXT. Oh! Need there to the arm. I wonder why she's working on the arm there. Wait a minute, now Red to the middle of the rope. And a knee strike to the arm again. Taking down anything that she can. Stomps. The fatigue is kicking in for both of these ladies. They just cannot stand. They've been going at her for over 12 minutes. Non-stop action. Candice LeRae going to the top rope. Setting something up. But Red just not having none of that. With that beautiful slam from the top of the rope. Red setting something up here. She's setting something up. Telling the champions to get back up. This could be the final move. And an Inziguri again. The queen of Inziguris. Is making her mark. Or retaining her championship. The cover. One. Two. No. Red's not going to have it. Red has more ideas than inflicting pain. She's trying. Red is making a statement to prove that she means business here in NXT a message to the NXT locker room that she is not taking no one lightly. She wants destruction and flick pain on her opponents. Got another cover, now Red again. Going for a headlock there. Knee strike to the face. Candace Nardi, oh, she has a Dinziguri to the head. Candace might, might, might have a concussion. She might have a concussion for all the strikes, the lethal strikes that Red has done and not. Red is starting Candace to get back in the ring. Wait a minute. Got up on that Red. Neck breaker. Boom. Cover. One. Two. No. What? Red is taunting Loray again. After a finishing move. The disrespect by the champion. Wait, she's going for it again. She's going for it again and boom. Cover! One! Two! Three! 
That's 4 and 0. Oh. Candice LeRae is out. I would suggest just ending this match. Candice does not want to end this match. She wants to fight till the end. We have two minutes left. Will Candice manage to pull the impossible? Highly unlikely, but this could be it for Red. Red just needs to survive. Look, Candice cannot even hit her moves. Candice is done. Strikes to the head, the back drops to the back of the neck as basically solidified Candice has been unable to continue this match. But she has not given up. Candice LeRae is fighting back. Candice LeRae does not give up. She continues and continues to fight. But that's not enough tonight. That seems to be the end of Candice LeRae. That might backfire in the long run. Think about your career, Candice, because this, this could be the end. Cover. One. Two. No, kick out by LeRae. Still fighting. Fighting spirits of Candice is admirable. Stupid, but admirable. Candice wants the women's championship back and she will do anything that she can to retain it. Wait a minute, not red. That's another setup for that neck breaker. The cover. One, two, three, and it's five and oh. Just end this match. Got a minute left. Can she do it? No, missed there. Fatigue's kicking in on red as well. The strikes, the strikes. Candace cannot even stand up and Red just continues to viciously strike in her elbows. My goodness, what's an intense matchup, this Iron Woman match, what it's all about, the NXT Women's Championship, the champion, full of confidence, full of ego, finally showing her two colors in this matchup, and why she should retain the title, why she should be the champion. Candace is her, what is going on? What the hell? Magic powers of Red! Her glove just glowed. Was that a super punch? One! Two, three, and Red just pulled the impossible with the lightning strike straight through the face. Incredible. Ron House. Inziguri by the Queen of Inziguri. And in final decision, 5 0. Red is still the NXT Women's Champion. Congratulations, Red, on proving the doubters, the critics, that you belong here in NXT. And there was no fluke in why you're the champion. Thank you, everybody, that's your. Make sure you click that like button, subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Peace! Thanks for tuning in for this championship match, and what an amazing match it was.